Hi there, Joshua Roy, Access World Seminars. There's a poem that I think about quite regularly. In fact, I repeat these words over in my mind. It's a poem that I've memorized and it's called Don't Quit. Listen to these words and see if you can not apply this to one or more area or aspect of your life. When things go wrong as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, when you want to smile, but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. You see, life is queer with its twists and turns. And every one of us sometimes learns, and many a fellow turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. So don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You might succeed with another blow. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. Often the struggler is given up when he might have captured the victor's cup. And he learned too late as the night slipped down how close he was to the golden crown. You see, success is failure turned inside out. The silver tint on the clouds of doubt. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit. It's when things go wrong that you must not quit. You know, all of us wake up. We all wake up and we think to ourselves, do I really want to do it today? You know, this happens to all of us. And I don't care whether you know your passion or not. I don't care whether you're filled with energy and excitement and desire. We all go through those days or that day where we're feeling flat. And I'm here to say, that's the day you've got to push. That's the day you've got to push through those unconscious boundary conditions of our thinking. By pushing through that and making that a habit in your life, you get the strength and you develop the mental and emotional and spiritual muscle to push your way through every obstacle, every situation, every circumstance that may in otherwise or otherwise debilitate you. So just remember that that's the time you got to do it. Get up and push even when you don't feel like it. Even when you think, I'll just have some time off. Get up and do something. Now, you may not do your whole routine, but do something. You see, I myself have a goal of doing my morning routine at least 25 times a month. That allows me a few days where I can be a little bit less than perfect. Now, mind you, I still and I always, 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 do a part of my routine. I always do. I never miss all the steps. I might miss one component or two components or three components, but I will never miss my entire morning routine because it's a must to my psychology. It's a must to my life that I have to get out there and do something. Even when things are going wrong, even when it looks like it's going to be too hard. That's the time I need to step up and push myself. And might I suggest that it's the same for you. That there will be times, and I don't care whether you know what your passion is or not, there are still going to be those days. There just will be. It's inevitable. So my advice, don't quit. Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't quit. Keep moving forward. Rest if you must. That's a true principle. Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Keep surging forward. Until next time, remember that your commitment to yourself should be to discover who you really are. Unlock your incredible self and unleash that on the world. Thank you.